I'd like to take a look at the uh, Canon Vixia HF10. I, I don't know, uh, Vixia, whatever. Uh, the book has got a lot of good details in it about the function of the camcorder, uh, different features and options. I've also got, this is aftermarket, or uh, this doesn't come in a package. I have the Canon battery charger. And this is a wall type outlet and this unit will charge a battery substantially faster and to a higher capacity than just charging it in the camera. This is a high capacity battery and it provides about two hours of charge uh, of runtime. Just line them up, snap, put it in the wall, it charges the battery to its full capacity. Also it comes with a nice remote. You can take pictures, you can go to the menu, you can go to the sit menu, telephoto and wide angle, start and stop record. There's uh, everything you need on one remote. Let's see, this one comes with your AV cable for a composite and left and right channel. It's very handy for hooking up a monitor to be able to watch um, the production you're doing. It also comes with a component cable, the RGB, and you would use the AV cable for your left and right channel. It doesn't come with, but I do have an HDMI cable. This is standard HDMI. This will plug into your TV set. Mini HDMI. The cable's not too expensive, uh, but nobody has it, so you have to order it. I got mine on eBay. This will plug into the camcorder, this will plug into your TV, audio and video in full 1080 and be displayed when you set. This is a nice accessory. It's a shotgun mic. It goes on the smart shoe, I guess is what they call it. We'll take a look at that. This uh, just peels off. It's a real nice windsock. It's very effective also. It's in stereo, so it's left and right. Uh, there's not much to it. You have stereo, 120 degrees, 90 degrees, and then shotgun. So you can pick basically what angle of um, pickup that you want. This just slides on your, um, your shoe, and you can see it's uh, like a little rubber isolation, a shock mount. Uh, pick the one you want, slide your sock on. Come on, buddy. There you go. Reminds me to set my scene in the shed. Um, the power for this uh, amplified mic is drawn off the camcorder through the smart shoe. That's a real nice accessory. And then we're going to get down to the Canon the HF10. <laughs> Comes with 12x optical zoom. The digital zoom I'm not real concerned about because digital zoom sucks. It's got a nice beefy hand strap. Nice hand strap here. A fist strap. This Velcro adjustable. Here's your record modes. Strictly camera. Strictly video. Playback video, playback camera. So you can do your stills. However, if you're in video mode and you press the photo button, you can still take a photograph. Uh, wide angle and uh, telephoto zoom is very great. On off switch. You have a handsome screen. Uh, a lot of your functions can be gotten from here. You can press your sit key and that will give you some functions that presses in. Up, down, left, right. There's not much here. Uh, you can display your battery information here. I'm not sure what that is because I don't ever use it. The your um, SD card will go right here, and I've put a 16 gig SD card in there. And from the menu, you can choose: do you want to store it on the internal memory or the uh, or the card memory? This is your component output right here. 
This right here is where you charge it. This is your microphone and AV out. So if you had a uh, lavalier microphone or an outside shotgun mic, you plug that in here. And your AV cable, you plug it in here. This is your record button, start and stop. You release your battery. Just press in. And the battery drops down and comes out. Of course, that one fits flush. With a high capacity battery, will uh, extend out some. Now, it's kind of hard to see. Right here is the IR receiver for the remote. So when you're using a remote and you're in front of the camera, you'll want to twist the screen so it's pointed towards the remote. You're going to aim the remote at the screen and that's going to pick it up. Uh, you have a nice left and right channel stereo mic, uh, illumination assist, and you have a flash. It's weak, but it does work. You have a nice shutter screen uh, for when the unit's off. And you also have a threaded bevel for adding uh, additional lens. Now, I, I've run a fisheye on it quite a bit and that helps a lot. You also have here your outputs for your USB 2.0 and your mini HDMI. So that's where you plug those up. So this thing's got, I don't know how in the world they put so much stuff in here. I've got it uh, set up right here uh, I don't remember how I got all of this set up so I'd have to go back and look uh, set it up like this so you can see it alright here's your function keys right here it's telling us that we're on a um, shutter speed of 1 60th of a second and we can adjust that there's 30 15 but it starts getting choppy after 15 but what it's doing is it's allowing you to manually uh, select the shutter speed and it maintains the aperture one one hundredth of a second to uh, suit your shooting situation so if you were in a situation where you were trying to do um, uh, some higher speed uh, type photography videography uh, 250, 500 is pretty good. 1,000, 2,000, I believe is the max. You need a lot of good daylight. You need to be outside shooting out at 2,000. I usually run it around 60 or 100 indoors. <clears throat> and right here, it tells you about your focus. This right here, PF30, is telling you it's on progressive 30 frames per second. So each individual frame is like a photograph. It's a still shot. There's no interlace whatsoever. Um, when you play it back on your computer, it's the most amazing video you'll ever see. Imports into um, a couple of programs. Corral Video Studio X3 is a really good program. It imports directly to it. Uh, AVS for You Video Editor imports MTS files just fine um, and this is AVC HD so what it does uh, it uses uh, H264 video and I believe it's AC3 um, audio because MP4 uses H264 video and AAC audio this is AC3 5.1 even though it doesn't have the reserve capacity for um, the hardware capacity for 5.1 it uh, that's what the format it records it in this is a really good camcorder uh, I've really enjoyed it built-in memory 16 gigabyte and optionally a 16 gigabyte uh, compact uh, secure digital flash card can be used so Hopefully you found this to be informative. There's a Canon HF10. <clears throat> I believe when I bought this, it w the camera itself was about 800, and I spent probably 300 more on the uh, shotgun mic, the charger, and the additional um, shotgun. Oh, the uh, high-capacity battery. It served me quite well, and I've been real happy with it.